morning everyone my name is prashant chauhan and it's my pleasure to welcome to our project presentation today we are excited to share with you the culmination of our hard work dedication and team work our project is titled predicting online course enrollment using machine learning before we dive into the details i would like to introduce our talented team members who have made this project possible each individual brought their unique expertise and passion to the table so i would like to introduce my team members my group number is 24 and my team members are harshita das aryan pratap singh yes srivastav sevansu solanki our mentor is sumit makija sir and our program coordinator is ankur rai sir and next aryan pratap singh will tell you something about our project as online education continues to expand rapidly understanding what drives student to enroll in courses has become essential for educators and platforms by predicting enrollment trends we can help tailor courses to meet learners needs and improves overall engagement our project specifically employs machine learning techniques to analyze and forecast enrollment behavior the problem we tackled is straight forward as our problem statement is we wanted to predict whether a user would enroll in an online course based on their interaction with course previews for instance we looked at factors like how much time users spend on previews and the number of videos they watch by building a predictive model we aim to provide course providers with insights that could guide better courses design and marketing strategies our objectives for this project were threefold the pre process and analyze users activity to understand patterns to construct a logistic regression model to estimate the probability of enrollment finally we evaluate our model's performance to ensure it delivers accurate predictions or not through these steps we aim to produce a model that could be a valuable tool for course providers for our analysis we basically relied on python as our main programming language pandas for data manipulation and skikit learn for implementing our machine learning algorithms specifically we choose logistic regression a popular and effective model for binary classification tasks like in this project i aim to explore how we can use data to better understand behavior and predict if they will complete a course now i will tell you about data set in this project i am working with a data set that contain information about online course users and their activities i take this data set from kaggle website but there are many platform of the data sets but uh, i choose the kaggle the main purpose of this data set is to understand uh, the predict prediction about course enrollment based on specifications now i show the attributes of data set and there are 11 attributes in my in my data set uh, you can see the csv file this there are many attributes number one course id and uh, um, number two is course title and number three is Uh, URL and next is paid and next number of subscribers and next number of reviews number of lectures level content duration published time stamp and the last one is subject. We can see in the PPT there are uh, the data sets the course ID unique identifier of the course course title uh, the the next is a uh, URL web link of the course. And next, next is is paid. The there is um, Boolean expression like true false. And next is number of subscribers. And next number of reviews, number of lectures, con, uh, count of lectures in course, level difficulty levels like beginner, intermediate, and expert. Content duration, total duration of content in hours. And uh, published time stamp, date and time when the course was published. And last one is subject category two. The course belongs to science, technologies, and art. Good hard area. so many of requirement of libraries example is pandas metroplex cbold and skyland 
and many libraries we are using in this podcast area and prediction of the online course involvement in the future sets. First of all, we have import my data from CSV file is CSV file. Any data of sheet of lots of value, we cannot check each and every value. We add only some values to analyze and prediction, only prediction this on this data. First of all, we can check out starting on five data. It's check. You can see one, two, three, and four. We can check in tail data. So, starting off the analyzed data, we can check how to grow and follow and data shape to you can so 3678 rows and 12 columns and data columns used to describe what is columns in this data sheet first course id post title url paid price and number of subscription number of reviews number of lectures labels content and published time shape and data types you see course id course title and objects and integer values in float values and booleans value billions value all returns that true or false and you can see it data information for data type in this the panda score pair in data frame range of entries and columns this course id we get in data describer this mean value is mix max and course id price you price subscription number of reviews number of lecture duration is 25 percent 50 percent in max to max this and data is checked to any data is null or not you can see data is and check is any data is duplicate or not any duplicate or have data to its sum and data drop duplicates and data duplicate sums is zero any duplicates drop data equal to data dot drop any duplicate in data we only automatic negate so you can see data dot duplicate sum is zero any not duplicate data in this year so data so data is filtered out we can we can analyze it or further further it's eda eda is nothing else it's the show the diagram to data to easy to easy to understand easy to understand the data data subject pass the subject in the data frames data finance web development number of courses data finance data development data subject of unique value is four data subject unique is business is graphic design is music instrument data subject value counts value number of count subjects you can see web development this and business finance and this musical is total total course total subjects web development this data subject dot value counts plot size you make a diagram you make a diagram to understand too easy you can see is one two three and four subjects four subjects blue is web development orange is business finance and green is music instrument is red is graphic designs you can see web development have a many subjects to it on this area second is plot figure size seven into five is snapseed chit chat x data subject pass the from the value data edge color black is plot show number of subscription counts value subjects you can see many of data with the finance and web developments are same eda graphics is subject number of subscription to number two frame finance this number graphic design this and music instrument this web development this data number of subscription max some number of subscriptions, sums this and data number of subscription to max and this idea of label labels of ABS all labels any labels of unique the labels first is intermediate beginner labels expert value data types object object value of many store of value names object class or other things is storing object we can diagram to show the labels it's very easy data types pass to label when you count plot the make a plot a graph is the Four levels. First is all levels. In these levels, are expert levels, intermediate level, and beginner levels. Plot and second is type of a data is in the count. Is levels is all levels are there two hundred something or intermediate are four hundred something. We can counting in this graph value. We can the graph figure x y test is number of subscription data type subject edge color block. You can see easily data graph. 
now after doing eda on each columns we will proceed to data pre processing for pre processing we will be using label encoder method on specific columns that is levels and subjects for our convenience to understand the data we converted the published time stamp to separate entities using date time and year and month after that we have to split the data into x and y that is dependent and independent data sets then splitting them into test and train data sets by taking 20% of it as a testing data here we are performing random forest regression to build the model with the help of mean absolute error we got the root mean squared error finally our r2 score came out as 0.74268 that means our model is approximately 74.26% accurate as a challenge we have also tried logistic regression and decision tree to fit the model but apparently random forest came out as the best by doing this analysis we have came to the conclusion that our model is based on random forest regression and it gives an appro approximate final result as 74.26% which is not bad but this can be increased further in future using neural networks to optimize the model performance